Today is day 85 of my 100 days of eating only keto chow for all my meals. Welcome everybody. I've got 14 days left after this. What? I'm actually 17 20ths of the way done. I did the math today. Um, so, um, not much is going on in the... I mean, uh, everything's going fine as far as uh, eating keto chow for all my meals. Um, still enjoying it. I think I've got orange cream for breakfast today, which is, I'm really liking. Um, and I think I've got, it's either snickerdoodle or eggnog for lunch. I'm not sure which one of those. Um, and I'm doing it with avocado oil with MCT. Um, 45 milliliters of avocado oil and 15 milliliters of MCT per meal is what it works out to be. Um, Anyway, so that's going well. I did have a really interesting question that I answered um, yesterday on the keto subreddit. Not the keto chow subreddit, the keto subreddit. Uh, somebody asked if they can eat only Atkins meals, like the shakes and the frozen meals and the bars and stuff like that for all their meals. Um, and I popped in there. I actually took all the food that they said that they were eating per day and put it in the chronometer and screen captured it so they could see what nutrients they were and were not getting. And it was actually pretty bad as far as missing out on a lot of vital stuff. Uh, they had enough sodium, um, but most of the other nutrients were not, not, yeah, they were not getting the stuff that they needed. Um, but I popped in there and said, now, just so you know, this is coming from someone who's eaten the same thing every meal for the last 84 days. I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you're getting food that was specifically engineered to be nutritionally complete. Um, and then I had a, a link to the, the, the series of blog posts uh, about this experiment. So. He's like, wow, I'm gonna jump right in and read about it. I'm like, you're going down the rabbit hole there. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, that's as far as nutrition goes. Um, Miriam and I, we did our Facebook Live last night. Um, I've got the video for that rendering right now. It takes for, it, well, it doesn't take forever on my computer here um, because I got a crazy fast um, multi-threaded, it's actually the processor called, it's called a thread ripper. Anyway, it's super fast. Four times faster than the computer I used to use. Um, and way faster than my laptop. Um, so all that will be uploading pretty soon after I get this video uploaded. Um, I did get, this morning, I got my most recent blood test results from, um, it was from last Friday. And they're interesting. They're very interesting. Um, I thought I was going to see a lot of change on last, the, the time before, the, the blood test before, on the results on that because I was sick. And some of the change that happened this time might have been because I was sick, but I think a significant amount of it has to do with the fact that I was using MCT oil now. Um, Dave Feldman has said that MCT oil tends to confound uh, lipid tests. And, oh boy, does it come through on my tests. My, so there's, I'm, I'm getting a thing called a, a NMR um, test done on my cholesterol. Basically, they're able to measure the size of the individual um, lipoprotein particles. My back itches. Um, and they're able to say, see how much of the, uh, the low-density lipoprotein is small, how much of it is big, all that other stuff. So, on the most recent tests, um, my LDL came down, and my small LDL particles went through the roof. I think it tripled? I'd have to do the math, but it went way up. Um, also, my triglycerides went way up, and my, um, my HDL has continued to come down. Um, in fact, I think it's going to stay down that for the, the test that's coming up this Friday um, and won't go up until I switch over to butter. 
um, which will be really interesting to see how quickly it comes up. Now, Beverly, um, her previous test, her HDL is very high. I'm, ve I'm super interested to see what her HDL does, what her um, small LDLP, what her LDLP, what, what all her different numbers do. Um, the blog post that accompanies this video um, on the ketochow.xyz website, ketochow.xyz, um, okay. has graphs and a link to the, the spreadsheet. Um, because every time I get in one of the blood tests, I type all the numbers into a spreadsheet that is freely available for everybody to see. I'm not hiding anything here. So, anyway, check that out. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, let's see, what's tomorrow? Thursday? Yeah, not much going on tomorrow. It's my last day of doing hip, um, avocado oil with MCT, though. Today's my penultimate, which is a word I learned by reading the Series of Unfortunate Events books, okay. which is a fantastic series, by the way. Really helps my vocabulary. Anyway, catch you guys all on day 86. Ready for your number.